Good day, my friends. This is Richard for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a ramp and modify the railing. Okay, so in this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a multi-segmented ramp by drawing its run in sketch mode. So I'm going to sketch my ramp. And then after that, I'm going to modify the railing. Okay. Alright, so this is a very short exercise and hope you like it. So first things first, I'm going to create a multi-segment ramp. So as you can see on my sketch here, I already have uh, created here the ramp, second point, third point, and then the final point. Okay, so I'm going to start creating my ramp by going to the architecture circulation panel and then there's the ramp so i'm going to select this okay and then i'm just going to do some modification on my instance properties here so for the base offset so let me just change this to uh, minus 900 okay and then for the top level let me just change this to first floor also okay so another thing i want to change my width Okay, so I'm going to change my width to 1,800. Okay, and then I apply. Alright, so I'm going to sketch my ramp here using the line tool. Okay, so I'm going to pick here. So as you can see, there's the ramp start point. So I'm going to pick here 1. I'm going to pick here 2. Okay, I'm going to pick here third point, And then the final point. There you go. And then I select modify. Okay. So this one is on my 3D view. Alright. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to select here check to finish. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. So this is my ramp. Okay. And also the default railing. Okay. So if you have other railings loaded, you can just change it. Okay. Right, but I'm not going to change it. I'll just use this uh, uh, railing handrail rectangular. So another thing that you can do here just uh, to explore some options. So I'm going to change the property of my ramp. So instead of a uh, type of ramp like this, okay, so I'm going to select that and do, uh, go to the type properties. And then from the construction parameter or group, Okay, so there is this option here that is called shape. Okay, so instead of tick, so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to select your solid. And then I'm going to select your OK. And then look what will happen. Okay, so it will modify my railing. So it's now solid shape. Okay, so it's no longer with the constant thickness, but now it's uh, solid uh, shape all right okay so another thing so let me just modify also my uh, railing here so I'm just going to select this take note that the other railing here it's the same as this one okay so they have the same type of railing so any changes that that, that I made here when it comes to the type properties it will also modify this so like this one I select this and then I go to the type properties so let's say I want to modify the rail structure. So I'm going to select your edit. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to include here another, or I'm going to insert another rail. Okay, so let's say I'm going to call this uh, bottom rail. Bottom rail. Okay, so my first top rail, the height of that is 900. Okay, and then this one, let's say I'm going to make it 600, All right? And then I change also the profile of my railing here. There you go. And then I select here, OK. And then I OK here. There you go. Okay. So that is my railing. Okay, so let me just modify again my railing. So this time... I'm going to select here baluster placement. 
Okay, so I select your edit again. Okay, and let's say for example for this one, for the regular parallel store here, instead of 100, you see the distances of my uh, railing or I mean the baluster is 100. So I'm going to make this, uh, let's say I make it uh, 900. Okay, so 900. I'm going to select your apply. Okay, okay. All right, so there you go. So it's now 900. So I just noticed that my baluster here is not spread equally, right? See, there's a the distance here is different from the distance from here. Okay, so what we are going to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to select I get the railing, I modify it, and then I go to the baluster placement. So this one, okay. So instead of beginning, I'm going to make it spread pattern to fit. All right, and then I select here, okay, and then okay there you go right so the setting now of that baluster is spread to fit right so there you go it's a very short exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video if you had any comments suggestions or questions you can put it on my uh, on my comment section below of this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Another thing, if you want to download this exercise file, it's also on the description of this video. You can just click the link there and then just download the exercise so you can follow me. So the version is 2000, uh, 2017, so make sure you have uh, Revit 2017 installed in your computer. Alright, okay, so once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.